Number 13. Oh, a bearings question. Right, what have we got here? We've got Port Lee is due south of Queenton. 25. Yep, we've got that. Port Lee. From Port Lee, the bearing of Rushton is 72. We've got that. From Queenstown, the bearing of Rushton, we have got this, is 120. The bearing means from north, you turn 120 degrees clockwise. Calculate the distance between Port Lee and Rushton. That's what I want. Right, well, I can't use that triangle yet because I've only got two bits of information. I need three. There's something lurking outside that can help. If it's 120 up to this line, and that makes a straight line of 180, that means I've got 52 in here. And not only that, as soon as I've got two angles on a triangle, I can get all three. They add up to 124, so that leaves 56 for this one. Now I can use the sign rule. There's an opposite pair. So if I want PR, I can say this. I'm going to put the question down. Question 13. You can write the sign rule out if you like, A over sign A, etc. In inverted commas, because these are P's and Q's and R's. But you can just jump straight in. That's what I do. PR over its angle, sine of 52 degrees, equals the one that you know, 25, over the sine of its partner angle, the angle subtended by it, over the sine of 56 degrees. One step away now. I want PR on its own, so get rid of this. It's dividing, take it across and multiply. 25 sine 52 over sine 56. Now it's just press the buttons. And that comes to 23.762 and so on, which we'll probably just round off to one decimal place. 23.8 kilometres. Fourteen. Last question. A rectangular picture is mounted on a rectangular card. The area of the card is 270 square centimetres, a border of X centimetres wide on all sides. So that's X, that's X, that's X, and that's X. Write down an expression for the length of the card. I'm actually saying the length this one. So the length is going to be, well, it's 13 plus an X and an X. So it's 13 plus 2x. Is that it? That's it. One mark. Two. Hence show that you end up with this quadratic equation. Well, that must be something to do with this 270 for the area. So to work out the area, I would need the breadth as well. Well, the breadth will be 9 plus an x plus an x. So that's 9 plus 2x. So now I can work out the area because that's length times breadth. I think I'll put them the other way around though. So the length is 2x plus 13. The breadth is 2x plus 9. So now you multiply it out. And that will be 4x squared plus 18x plus 26x plus, and that's going to be 90, 117. Tidy that up. 4x squared plus, and that's going to be 30, 44. 44x plus 117. But it said the area was 270. So if the area is equal to 270, that means that this thing, 4x squared plus 44x plus 117, is equal to 270. Almost there, just take that over to this side. 4x squared plus 44x. It would be nice if this just came to another multiple of 4. You'd have a nice wee quadratic that may well factorise. But it doesn't. It comes to minus 153. Just as it said. So the next part is, what is x? I mean, that was obvious with it coming up. Solve a quadratic equation. But don't waste your time factorising it, because you can see there, calculate the answer to one decimal place. it will need more room than this. So shove it up there. Right. Well, so have to use the quadratic formula. So A is 4, B is 44, and C is negative 153. They're horrible numbers to have to use. You can't even simplify them because they don't divide by anything in common. Right, so I just have to go in with this. So X will be, it's the negative of B plus or minus, I'll just put it down first of all, B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So it's the negative of 44 plus or minus the square root of 
44 squared, these are huge numbers, but you're using a calculator anyway, minus 4 times 4 times a negative, at least that'll make it a plus, 153, over 2 times 4. Well, before I start, I'll just quickly change that into just whatever that part is, that discriminant, so I'll just work out. And that's 4, quite big this one this time, 4, 3, 8, 4. Which means for x, I've got two answers. I've got negative 44 minus 4384 over 8. Or I've got x equals negative 44 plus the square root of 4384 over 8. But the question says, oops, I'm a bit lazy. It just says, what's the width of the border? So it can't be this because that's obviously going to be a negative number. It's a negative, take away a negative, that's a negative number. X can't be negative, so that won't be needed. So really, it has to be this. And you get X is equal to 2.7764 and so on. And it's said to one decimal place, yes. So X is 2.8 centimetres. Now, you may well have worked that one out, but you would still at the end have to explain why you've only got this answer. And the reason I didn't work that one out is I knew that that was not a solution because x had to be greater than zero. So even if you had worked that one out to be negative, whatever, you would still have to make a statement at the end isolating this as your sole answer because x has to be greater than zero.